from Wish TV and the All Indiana Podcast Network. This is the News 8 Daily 8 Podcast. A Wish TV News 8 update. Hi, this is Hannah Mordeaux and this is your News 8 Daily for Friday, August 2nd. We have a lot of fog out there this morning. There were moments where it got better, then it got worse. Hopefully it is lifting at this point. There is a possibility for scattered showers and a few storms developing later on this afternoon. Temp check. What kind of summer are we having this year? A family road trip summer, a beach bum summer, or a wake me up when the sun sets summer? With Instacart, choose your own adventure and skip the shopping side quests. Where available, you can get ice cream delivered to your hotel, sunscreen to the pool, or cold brew to your bed. Well, door in as fast as 30 minutes. Wherever you find yourself this summer, you can get the goods. Download Instacart for free delivery on your first three orders. Offer valid for a limited time. Minimum $10 per order. Excludes restaurants. Additional terms and fees apply. Getting the smile and confidence you've been dreaming about all from the comfort of your home isn't a total mystery with Bite Clear Aligners. Just don't be surprised if all your friends start asking, what's your secret? Begin by ordering your at-home impression kit today for only $14.95. Bite Clear Aligners are doctor-directed and delivered to your door. Treatment costs thousands less than braces, plus they offer flexible financing, accept eligible insurance, and you can pay with your HSA FSA. Get 80% off your impression kit when you use code WONDERY at Byte.com. That's B-Y-T-E dot com. Start your confidence journey today with Byte. Three newly freed Americans are back on U.S. soil after a prisoner swap with Russia. Video from Midnight shows them reuniting with families in Maryland. They were also greeted by President Joe Biden and Vice President Kamala Harris. Wall Street Journal reporter Evan Gershkovich, former U.S. Marine Paul Whelan, and Russian-American journalist Alsu Kermasheva were among the 24 people now free. This is the largest prisoner swap between Russia and the West since the Cold War. There were hugs, handshakes, and excitement as Biden, Harris, and family welcomed the three home. To me, this is about... The essence who we are as a country. It really is about personal relationships, it's about family, it's about being able to have access to your own, the people you love and you adore. Among the prisoners released back to Russia was a convicted assassin who had been serving a life sentence in Germany for what was described as a Russian ordered murder. To my teammate in the Delphi murders case, Richard Allen will be moved out of the Indiana Department of Correction. The judge made that ruling on the final day of hearings this week. Prosecutors and defense attorneys also sparred over theories surrounding the killings. My teammate Cody Fisher was in the courtroom for every minute of this week's arguments. Dueling theories about the case from the prosecution and defense were on full display here in Carroll County Court. The prosecution called a blood spatter expert to refute the defense's claims that blood from the girls was painted on the tree in the shape of a rune. The expert testified that the blood was a transfer stain and not painted, but the expert could not say exactly who was responsible for transferring the blood to the tree. It was either Libby German or the killer. The defense's expert in ritualistic killings firmly believes the mark on the tree was a rune and the sticks on the bodies represented a rune. The prosecution argued that the sticks were in an effort to cover up the bodies. The defense also continued to point the finger at several third-party suspects, but none of the law enforcement witnesses could ever place those suspects at the scene with hard evidence like DNA. The defense also tried to blow up the prosecution's timeline of when the girls were killed so they could open up the possibility of a third-party suspect committing the murders. They tried to prove that with cell phone data. Richard Allen got a win today in court at the very end. Judge Gull removed the safekeeping order, which removes him now from the Department of Corrections, and now he's in custody of the Carroll County Sheriff. Now, the sheriff would not say whether or not he's going to be kept here at the Carroll County Jail, but earlier in the week, he did say that he had, was in conversations with the Cass County Sheriff for having Richard Allen being housed in that county jail. Reporting in Carroll County for IT Mate, I'm Cody Fisher for Wish TV, wishtv.com, and follow us on Facebook for updates. Former Colts player Daniel Muir will be allowed to see his once missing son, who he's accused of abusing. The ruling from a judge in Cass County says Muir and his wife, Kristen, can have supervised visits with the 14 year old. News 8's Kyla Russell reports. 
The couple walked into court today hand in hand after not seeing Bryson for 29 days. They walked out with the freedom to visit their son with a licensed agency in the room, which could be DCS or a different approved third party. Among the obligations of the supervisor is to prevent the conversations about which Mr. Schaefer has reasonable concerns. Noah Schaefer is the Cass County prosecutor. He all but said in court he's worried allowing Bryson to visit with his parents with another person in the room could lead to witness tampering in the case. And the failure to control the conversation about which Mr. Schaefer has concerns would be an issue for the people who are supposedly supervising. And then I would have to take an issue with them. Kristen's attorney asked that the no contact order be dropped for her. She's not accused of having committed any kind of act against the child. Uh, she's accused of uh, the charges that are filed in this court. And I would ask the court to lift the restraining order with respect to her at least. I asked him what he thought of the judge's decision. You can't see him, but you can hear him here. If you were in court, you could probably hear what happened in court. I'm Kyla Russell for Wish TV, wishtv.com, or follow us on Facebook for updates. Pete Buttigieg comes back to Indiana today. He's ostensibly on an official visit as the head of the Transportation Department, but the appearance also comes as the Harris for President campaign mulls over who to pick for a running mate. Many in the Democratic Party have mentioned the former South Bend mayor as a contender, though few have tabbed him as a front runner. Buttigieg has made a number of media appearances on behalf of Harris, and he's been uh, touring battleground states this week. The Department of Transportation says today Buttigieg will tour the construction site of an electric vehicle plant in Kokomo to highlight the Biden administration's push for clean energy investments. News 8 will be there to cover the visit. We'll have reports for you throughout the day on Wish TV and Wish TV. Com. It's opening day for the Indiana State Fair. This is the 167th edition. News 8's Hernan Gutierrez is at the fairgrounds with the highlights. Well, gates open at 9 today. There is an opening ceremony at 8.30, but for the public, the gates will open at 9. You can expect a lot of the same fried food, celebrations of agriculture that all of us have come to learn to love here at the Indiana State Fair. Here to tell us a little bit about what's new, what's to come for uh, people here is Leroy. Good morning. Thanks Good for morning. being here. He's with the Indiana State Fair. Good yes. morning. Tell us a little bit about what's new. Tell us where we're at. Uh, it is a little bit of a familiar attraction, but a new location. Yeah. So last year, the Illuminate attraction that we had in our ex expo hall uh, was so popular that we brought it back and we brought it outside. So we have 14 amazing lanterns that everyone can come and take a look at. And as you can see uh, in the evening sky or in the dusk, it, it really looks really phenomenal. Uh, also, we have a great basketball court that we just installed. Um, and we're going to have a new splash pad that for families to be able to take a trip uh, and hang out and, and kind of cool down in some of that hot uh, summer heat. Let's walk around a little, show off what you guys have going on here. And while we do that, tell us a, a little bit else about what people can expect. Tell us a little bit about those classics and, and uh, other things that people might see here. Well, of course, we always have our livestock shows. Um, those are always something that we are really proud of is staying true to our agricultural background and heritage. Um, but this year, we are partnered with Newfields. Uh, Newfields is a great partner of ours this year. So they have a, a great exhibit and brought a great artist uh, to uh, our Harvest Pavilion that we have named Art. Uh, and then across all of the campus, you'll be able to see um, opportunities where art and nature combined and for giving us a chance to have a little bit of a selfie moment. Tell me real quick, what are you looking forward to the most this year? Well, I'm looking forward uh, to is a lot of the concerts. Um, one thing about the State Fair is that we bring a lot of free concerts here to our Hoosier Lottery free stage. And uh, this year, uh, Belle Bib DeVoe is coming, and it's probably one of my favorites going up. So I'm really excited about that one. All right, thank you for being with us this morning. The gates open every day at 9, but the State Fair is closed on Mondays. Reporting in Indianapolis, I'm Hernan Gutierrez for WishTV, WishTV.com. Or follow us on Facebook for updates. Simone Biles is living up to her greatest of all time title, making history in Paris again. She is now the all-around champion for the second time in her career, making her the third woman ever to accomplish the feat. At 27 years old, Biles is also the oldest gymnast to medal in the all-around in more than 70 years. The win came despite a mistake on the bars that had her fighting for gold. Her teammate, Suni Lee, is also a former all-around gold medalist and took home bronze yesterday. Both gymnasts could win more medals this week on the individual event finals.
In swimming, Katie Ledecky and her three teammates took home silver in the 4x200 freestyle relay. That gives her 13 total medals, the most by any female American Olympian. And Ledecky is not done. She's favored to win in the women's 800-meter freestyle. She says she's also planning on swimming in the Olympics again in L.A. in 2028. The U.S. women's basketball team is moving on in the quarterfinals. America beat Belgium last night 87-74. to It's the 57th straight victory for the U.S. women in Olympic play, stretching back to the 1992 Olympics in Barcelona. Next up, Germany on Sunday. 91 days until the Taylor Swift show at Lucas Oil Stadium, and at least one fan is extremely frustrated. She claims hackers stole her tickets out of her Ticketmaster account. Hannah Salanpa lives in Beach Grove. She tells our team that someone got into her account Wednesday night, transferred her tickets. Salanpa says that she tried to secure her account when she started getting strange emails, but believes a hacker had already changed her email and password. Salampa eventually secured her account, but she says the tickets are still gone. She says Ticketmaster told her it would take up to two days to investigate her fraud claim. It really does kind of shine a whole light on the whole, on the whole Ticketmaster situation. You know, I never thought I'd be in this situation at all. And uh, I just, I think that the system's going to be reworked. A cybersecurity expert at IU tells News 8 that you can secure your account by not reusing passwords and using multi-factor authentication. This has been your News 8 Daily from Wish TV. I'm Hannah Mordeaux. Watch us on wishtv.com and follow us on Facebook for updates. If you're a new parent, a bad day means you either ran out of coffee, diapers, patience, or all of the above. Stocking up on cold brew and deep breaths are all you. Hello Bellow's got your baby's butt covered. Because Hello Bello believes all families deserve premium, affordable baby products. With their ultra-convenient diaper bundle subscription service that includes seven packs of diapers and four packs of plant-based wipes, you'll never run out of supplies. Better yet, they're delivered to your door. Set, change, and cancel your delivery schedule whenever you want. If you're a parent, your to-do list is longer than all your baby's wake windows combined. Let Hello Bello take care of diaper runs until you're done potty draining. It was named Best Diaper Subscription by New York Magazine and winner of the 2022 Good Housekeeping Parenting Award for a reason. Go to hellobello.com slash Wondery to get 30% off your first customized bundle and a full-size freebie product of your choice. That's hellobello.com slash Wondery to start bundling with 30% off your first order. Don't forget, that's hellobello.com slash Wondery. This is the News 8 Daily 8 Podcast, a Wish TV News 8 update on demand. For even more, on demand and on the go, connect with Wish TV on Facebook at wishtv.com and on the free Wish TV mobile app. Thank you for listening. And be sure to like, subscribe, and follow this podcast for updates every weekday morning on the All Indiana Podcast Network and wherever you get your podcast.